The year is 2014 and news reports are telling us that spiders are invading people's houses in their thousands. That's why I've come here to one of the most run down areas in Dublin to meet a spider expert in this house which is spider infested and hardly standing. Melanie, can you tell me why are spiders invading our houses in their thousands? Well, basically, over the summer months, Sean, a lot of spiders would do a lot of eating, so they tend to grow much bigger. And then as the, war or as the cooler temperatures come in, spiders will then venture towards the houses, seeking shelter from the elements outside. Also, it is actually mating season for the spider. What are we going to do about this? Well, Sean, the tidier you keep the house, the less spiders you're going to have. Basically, spiders really like a lot of clutter and like to, they basically like to have places to hide out. They're agoraphobic, which means that they don't like open places whatsoever. So the, the cleaner you keep the place, the less spiders you're going to have. Spiders, that? That's definitely not the biggest spider you'll see in Ireland. Uh, the largest spider in Ireland is the raft spider, also known as the bog spider. Those guys would be found kind of in and around damp, ar damp areas, as you can see this guy's hanging out where there's a little bit of water. Half inches. This place is riddled with the spiders. <laughs> no spiders in there? No, I think they're safe. I have to ask, would a spider ever eat a human being? No, to be honest, we're definitely too big for a spider to eat. There's over 35,000 species of spider in the world. There's only about 27 that are actually known to be um, kind of fatal to humans or have a, a very dangerous bite to humans. But do they all have venom? They would, yes, they would. But uh, most of the time the venom wouldn't affect us. Uh, good grief, what is this beast? This is a fine specimen of a false widow spider. Well, she's actually known as the cupboard <laughs> spider. How big will this, will this creature grow to? Uh, this girl here, her abdomen may get maybe about two centimetres in diameter. Her venom isn't particularly toxic to us whatsoever. Um, so, you know, you don't really have to fear her too much. <gasps> ah, I knew it! I knew it! That in this unkept shack in one of the worst parts of Dublin we find one of these. What is this? Okay, well this here is actually a Chilean rose tarantula. Um, not a native, native species to Ireland. Do you want me to pick her up? No, no I do not, but... You seem to want to pick her up, so be my guest. Now again, remember, she's definitely more frightened of us than we are of her. It's not yeah. like that. So, if you have a look, it is quite interesting because obviously on the smaller spiders we looked at earlier, we couldn't even see their eyes or anything. But if you have a look at the she's top She's laying there, web on it. She's laying web on you. Have a look there. There are her spinnerets at the back, which is where her web, her web does actually come out. These guys don't have the same type of webs that we'd be used to seeing again in Ireland. You know the way maybe up in the corners of a room you might find yeah, a web? Yeah, 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 yeah. These guys here, they use their web more kind of as padding um, in tunnels and that because they're more a terrestrial spider so they don't really climb. Terrestrial? What does terrestrial. that mean? So it means that she'll stay on the ground level as opposed to being a boreal and climbing Arboreal, up high. Arboreal? What does that mean? Climbing up high in the trees. Ah. Ah, thank goodness I survived. That was rank. But I'm calling the news crew now. RTE News? I've got a story for you. I've got proof that I encountered a tarantula.